in the last chapter of the Book of Unwritten Tales. What have we here? What are you doing, Mortimer? What the... Hello? Did you, um, did you just speak? Uh... You speak? Me? No. <laughs> well, uh, yes you do, quite obviously. What is obvious? That you can and do speak. But of course. But you just said that you didn't. Why are you being so strange, Mortimer? And so it continues. We can open it again. I don't know what good that's going to do. Let's look at the bag of tools. I think these are all the things that the professor uses on his digs. A brush, a little shovel, a sieve. We may need them. Or well, we can take the sieve. I'll take the sieve. The rest looks pretty useless. Okay, I'm glad you made that executive decision. Books, books, and more books. Most are ancient tomes. They appear to be written in just about every language. Hmm. The book that MacGuffin told me about is hidden in the cellar. Oh, These yeah, that's right. Thanks interest. for reminding me. Here's a large book. It's his journal or something. A large handwritten book. It looks like it's been used a lot. Mm-hmm. Can we read it? It's the Gremlin's Diary. Right. Perhaps I'll find some hints about the cellar. Let's take a closer Perhaps look. Perhaps so. Who would have ever thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist, to stop this madness? And I didn't find the key to it on one of my expeditions, not in dark dungeons or in fiery mountains. Oh no, I discovered the answer in an old book. He must mean the book that was hidden in the cellar, in which the information about the artifact's whereabouts is written. Where did he find the book, the though? The notes end mid-sentence. I wonder why I haven't heard anything from Archmage Alistair yet. I sent Beetle out with a message for him yesterday morning. I hope nothing has... That was the last entry. There are others before it. Okay. What's this at the beginning of this page? Today I have been examining the books that I bought back from the Grindle Mountains. Amongst them was a book about herbs and tinctures, an old herbalist was adamant that I would find a recipe to cure my cold feet in it. I didn't what know that was something that could be cured. Just superstitious nonsense about frog eyes and wool socks. Wool socks sounds like it'll work. I was just about to burn the book when I noticed that the volume contained other things. A disturbing tale of a tragic relationship between a magician and his pet sheep Boris, as well as a travel log written by a fairy explorer. The travel log described how the explorer landed on an island in the West Seas while searching for undiscovered fairy tribes. He created several very beautiful sketches of the temple ruins that can be found on that island. I will use these to entertain myself and translate the runes he drew. The next entry was made two days later. It's only barely legible. The gremlin appears to have been very excited. It must be the entrance. The wrath of the gods caused the temple to sink into the ocean, of course. But not all, not all. Ye gods, my hands are still shaking despite the fact that Beetle made me a calming herbal tea before he left. Good old Beetle. He has obviously got no clue how significant my discovery is. Atlantis? I sent him to Master Alistair, the Archmage of the Humans. He is to hand him a sealed letter. Tomorrow... Tomorrow, Master Alistair will arrive, and I can unburden myself of this terrible responsibility. I will not be able to sleep a wink. And next, there's the last entry that I read out before. There's nothing else there. Okay. I'm just going to make sure. There's nothing more there of interest to me. Okay, thank you. Or the confirmation. What about this? Nothing? Oop. Pile of documents. Hmm, old parchment and yellowing papers, filled with texts in many different foreign languages. Mm. Adonish and Western, Quenya and Sindarin, and technical drawings in Kuzdol. Okay, take them, since we can. Hopefully we're not going to use these to start the fire. Look at the wooden box. A little wooden box. Doesn't look like an antique or anything particularly valuable. It has beautiful workmanship, though. Well, open it. It's locked. Ooh, do we need a key then? What's this, dragon skull? A dragon skull. It could have been a horn tail. Nasty creatures. But there are very few around these days. 
<laughs> love, the love all the references in this game. Exclusively as beasts of burden, they've not just lost their viciousness, they've lost their pride too. So far, we've had Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, perhaps David Eddings references. I can still remember a time when dragons were powerful. That was centuries ago, before they were subjugated to a stranger's will by the power of magic. Once they were brought under control, they were used by the hundred on battlefields. From that, very few of them survived. That's very sad. Okay. Look at stone head. A strange stone head. It's been roughly hewn, but has a few fine embellishments. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. Perhaps a memento from one of the professor's expeditions. Seems very likely. Another dead jellyfish, it looks like. Wooden box. It's the Ark of the Covenant. A stone casket placed in a wooden box. The box looks very cheap. It could be one of those storage containers. Mm-hmm. Indiana Jones references. The stone chest is decorated with two angels and has writing on it, too. I can't read it. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Uh, I'm going to save it. Seems to be the best course of action, seeing as how what happened in Raiders of the Lost Ark when they opened it. What's likely to happen, eh? Sand. Hmm. Oh. Is it me, or has it just got much warmer in here? Oh, really? The chest is filled to the brim with fine sand. I haven't got a clue what else oh. might be in there. I can hardly sift my way through the sand with my hand. Right, but you can with a sieve. Or sieve, whichever way you want to pronounce it. There is something in there. A little brass key. Ha-ha. Well, at least our face didn't melt off, right? The keys to this box, I assume, but... Looks like the base for a statue. It's made out of stone and it's covered with strange characters. Ooh, I'm betting the statue is in here and then when we put it in here, it's going to open up like somewhere. Maybe this is like a spiral staircase or there's a hidden door. Let's use said key on box. Well, that worked. Let's see. There's a bit of paper in the box. Oh. No statue? The paper's densely covered with writing. Deus Ex Machina. The ghost in the machine is the heading. Right. There's also a drawing of a stone figure. At its feet is a vessel containing liquid. Hmm. Let's take a look. Yes, please. The ghost in the machine is wise to all the secrets of this house. That's what's written here. Hmm. Blah, blah. Pour the fuel into the bowl at the foot of the machine to awaken the ghost. Fuel? Oh, here. Grind the beans and tip the powder into boiling water. Then pour the mixture into the bowl. We've already had that bit. You'll get the beans from the machine. Hmm, strange. A machine that's meant to be familiar with all the secrets of the house. Is that the stone head that's outside? Or is it this? We're... Wait, there is something else. There's a six-sided flat stone hidden under the paper. Okay. It has something a bit like a knob on the top of it. Huh. This is strange. Is... This is a hexagonal hole, so can we... Does it actually go there? Is it that instead of a statue? Let's see. It mean, looks like. I wonder if I... Twist it? Yeah, you're facing the wrong direction, though. Oh, there's the statue. So is this the machine? Aha, there's a bowl. Ooh, this must be the ominous machine which is reputed to have a ghost living in it. The vessel at its base must be for fuel. The statue has small holes in its nose, and it appears that the mouth could be opened. Well, at least it's not a ghost in the shell. Haha. -ha. Hello, you in there? Ghost, give me beans for your draft. Yeah, no. <clears throat> oh, mighty ghost in the machine. Give me the beans for your delicious, godly draft. Let's look at it this way. 
If you don't give me the beans, then I won't be able to prepare your stupid draft, and that won't be of any use to anyone. <laughs> I'm Why very surprised wait? that worked. So we've got to make coffee? Is that the deal? The vessel's a few centimetres deep and empty. There are some brown stains on the bottom. It seems to be. Oi, ghost. If you're really so familiar with everything in this house, then tell me, what do I do now? I mean, it's in the note. Hello? So all we can do here is talk and look at the cup. All right, then. How do we get out there? Okay, well, this seems fairly straightforward, except we haven't found any steel yet. Or maybe... A small, old-fashioned shield. The inside is highly polished. Maybe I can strike the flint with that? No? Maybe I don't need steel. Huh. Where? There's a carrot. I know I can't strike the flint with a carrot. Anything? There's got to be something. Hello, hello. Maybe they'll just let me use the flint on its own, though that seems really unlikely. Let's take one more look inside the wooden box. Nothing else in there. The box is empty. All right. Thank you for that knowledge. Let's talk to Mortimer one more time here. Must be that. Hello, Mortimer. So good to see you, Mortimer. Good to A see you too, Mortimer. A person was just here insisting that they were you. That was me. You? Mortimer? Why did you pretend to be you? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Have you done something to your hair? You look so different. Are you seriously mistaking me for a meter-high, wrinkly, bald old gremlin? Oh, don't be so hard on yourself, Mortimer. Look at me. I've seen better days, too. I am not Mortimer. Mortimer sent me. I'm looking for a secret cellar. Can you tell me how I can get into the cellar? Into the cellar? Of course. So tell me. Uh, where is the cellar? Please? What cellar do you mean? What? What? <laughs> you have grown, Mortimer. Yes, yes. Oh, how we laugh. Mummy, best character in the game. Let's speak with him again, please. Well, that's just great. Isn't it, though? <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, he's got a, I just noticed he's got a little spider hanging out of his nose. Hello, Mortimer. Hello, Mortimer. Yes. Now, listen, I have to find the secret cellar, and I think you might be able to help me. So please pull yourself together. Of course. Of course. That's good. Now, I have a few questions for you. Who is your daddy, and what does he do? Um, who are you? Did you have an accident in a bandage factory? That's not what I asked. No, I'm a mummy. Don't mummies have their brains pulled out via their noses during the mummification process? That explains a lot. I don't think so. I do. <laughs> we are on the same page, Ivo. Do you know anything about the secret door and cellar? Can you tell me where the secret door is and how to open it? Oh. You are getting forgetful, Mortimer. Yes, so forgetful. Yes, exactly. So help me out here. How do I open that secret door again? What secret door? This is gradually ceasing to be funny. No, it's not. You're, you are totally wrong. That. The secret door to the cellar. How can I open it? You always fiddle around with that thing there, that stone figure, and then the secret door opens and, and you disappear somewhere. Cool. And exactly where does more... Uh, do I go then? How should I know? I haven't left my sarcophagus for 4,000 years. That's sad. No wonder you're a little soft in the head. That's you not nice. You are not Mortimer. Why are you pretending to be Mortimer? What is this machine all about? Do you know how that machine works? What's the fuel that I need to put in the bowl? It's coffee. 
Dum 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 dum. No, don't creep up on me like that. <laughs> I have been standing here for some time. I've been standing here for four thousand years. We know oh, you told great. us. Great. Now, what's in the machine? Do you know how it works? I'm really sorry, Morty. Can't help you there. If you're getting a bit forgetful, you should write things down. It's a good idea. Yeah, don't creep up on me like that. <laughs> I love this guy. I will say this one more time. I'm not Mortimer. Of course not, if you say so. Mortimer has been kidnapped, and I wanted to rescue him. I guess... That's... that's terrible. You'll have to hide. Why? Me? Why? They want to kidnap you. That's already happened. Mortimer, it's Mortimer. Mortimer has already been kidnapped. But that's impossible. Who is talking to me at night, then? What? Mortimer is your friend, is he not? Did he, um, uh, excavate you? S you something could like say that? that. I was lying in the dark for quite some time. Then the lid opened and Mortimer was there. I've been with him ever since. Well, as things look right now, Mortimer's not going to be here to chat for some time. We do not chat. We discuss, we deliberate, we debate, we chat. But we would <laughs> never go skiing. Huh? Why, <laughs> do you oh, really Lord. want to go skiing? I don't want to go skiing. Let's go skiing, what come on. skiing? It'd be great. No idea. I've had enough. We could strap Mortimer Bye. here to a snowboard. <laughs> Can we talk to him anymore? No. I don't want to, and you can't force me. Oh, really? No, I don't want to, and you can't force me. <laughs> okay, Ivo, fair enough. Okay. Is there anything... How would we clear away the undergrowth out here? Okay, we can't talk to that thing. Can't do anything there. Have I missed something out here? Ooh. Oh, this is this. We can grind the coffee. Let's see if it'll just let us start a fire. Without I the set fire to logs just with a fire stone. Right, you need steel. That's I what need I thought. Something that lights easily to get the fire started. Oh, quickly. never mind. They want us to burn the documents. What, what did it describe? Unimaginably valuable documents. Great. That's what I wanted to do today. Burn some books. They'll burn well. They're dry as bone. Yeah. All right. I suppose we'd do this. I'll give it a go. Okay, so it's a Zippo. What? What do you mean, what? A crackling fire burns in the hearth. Oh, how nice. Isn't it, though? Well, let's do what we can do, then. Let's grind the beans. Not actually beans. They're seeds. Coffee comes from cherries. It works. The beans are being ground to powder. And what we call coffee That's beans it. are the little seeds or pits inside them. Aromatic powder. A fine brown powder. It smells very aromatic. Not at all bad. Okay. According to the gremlin's notes, this is the most important ingredient of the machine's fuel. I imagine it is. So do we not need a filter of some sort? Can we just put it in the... Turn the holding bracket? Guess we need to take it out of the, fi out of the fire before we can put the Let's see. powder in. Oh, that's into the fire. Oh. The water's boiling. So a watering can full of hot water. So do we Very well. Okay. Well that kind of didn't make the sense but brown. And it smells mm, lovely. As coffee That's the should. Fuel for the machine sorted. A watering can full of fuel for the machine. 
Doesn't smell too bad either. Right. Can we clear this undergrowth with this shield? No. I wonder how we do that. Maybe we'll get something from the cellar that is capable. Kind of disappointed they didn't make us find some sort of steel to strike the flint with, but I'm not going to argue with game logic. Oh, we gotta actually zoom in on the machine to feed the ghost its caffeine. I'm woe betide of this whole efforts in vain. Ooh. Oh, it's a monkey. Oh my god. Uh, hello? <laughs> you there, ghost. I have to find the secret cellar. Will you help me? Please? Are you stuck in that thing? What, nothing? It looks like it's, the screen's shaking a bit. we still got the activity icon. Oh, hello. So it is stairs. Coo. A clever mechanism. I mean, that's a short and sweet description, I suppose. Let's go down, shall we? 